Hi everybody, my name is Joey Fight from thephysicaleducator.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about an awesome fundamental movement skill game called Touchdowns. In build one of the game, the students are going to be doing some hoop catching. The teacher will play some hoops in the playing area in a scattered formation and invite every student to go stand inside a hoop. Each student will then be given a ball and be given time to practice catching the ball by doing a self toss. Now the idea here is that they can get comfortable catching the ball and you can also change the type of ball that they are using in order to either increase or decrease the difficulty of the skill. In build 2, the students are going to work on some partner catching. The teacher will take half of the balls away from the playing area and now students get to toss the ball to any partner standing in hoops nearby them in order for their partner to catch. Here students are working on being able to catch a tossed ball from a partner. Now that we've practiced catching, it's time for build 3, touchdowns. To set up for this build, the teacher will place cones at each edge of the playing area and assign two players to each cone. The players are now in teams with their partner and can wear pennies. Each team is given a ball and then the teacher places beanbags in all the hoops that are left in the middle of the playing area. The goal of this build is to collect as many beanbags as possible. On the teacher's signal, one player from each team, the catcher, will run to a hoop that has at least one beanbag in it. The player who remains at the cone with the ball, the passer, has to attempt to make a pass to the catcher that the catcher can catch with both feet in the hoop. If the pass is completed, the catcher gets to bring a beanbag back to their home cone and then the two players switch roles. If the pass is incomplete, the catcher simply returns without a beanbag. Play goes on until there are no beanbags left in the game. Build 4 is super touchdowns. Now you can play this build in all kinds of different ways, but basically the way that I like to play it is I like to add a whole variety of objects to the game and assign different amounts of points to each object. For example, rubber rings, well they could be worth 3 points, whereas a thin pin, well that could be worth 5 points. And if you're feeling really wild and crazy, you can even throw a rubber chicken in there that's worth 25 points. Players now resume the game, trying to be mindful of which objects they're going to try and bring back to their home cone. You can even have students bring the hoops back once there are no objects left in any of the hoops. At the end of the round, students can either tally up their points, or you can create a class challenge where students try to collect all of the objects within a time frame. So that's Touchdowns, a fundamental movement skills game that we've broken down into four layers. If you'd like to learn more about touchdowns and get additional information such as safety rules or equipment needs or which grade level outcomes the game focuses on, be sure to check out the touchdowns game page on thephysicaleducator.com. Once again, my name is Joey Fight from thephysicaleducator.com. Thanks so much for watching and happy teaching.